an end of an era for a downtown art gallery. The Lynn Gallery of Fine Arts first opened 46 years ago, and as Jonah Kaplan explains, some people got a chance to enjoy it without ever buying anything. Now, there are more than a thousand pieces of art in this gallery, all of them for sale, including this one here. It's called Inferno, painted in 1962 by the owner himself, Bill DeLind. He did it in high school, and then he turned that passion into a career that spanned 46 years. I, I like quality, and I've always said that if, if I ever go out of business and I have a gallery full of art, I want it to be artwork that I can take home, hang on my own wall, and be very happy with. It's too bad Bill DeLind doesn't have that kind of wall space. At 74, DeLind just says it's time to close his home away from home. The day-to-day -day interaction with people has always been so much fun because I view myself as an educator rather than a salesman. DeLind first opened his gallery in 1969, but could never settle on a location. He's moved nine times within a two-block radius downtown. Sometimes you get lucky in life. And I, could, I view my entry into the world of art as just lucky. As pretty as it is to walk inside the gallery, the void that will be here will actually affect people outside, too. There's nothing like looking at rich colors on a very gray, cold winter day. Andrew Bomeister walks by the gallery every day on his way to work. Just seeing the, the unique artwork, you know, you know, artwork that you don't have to go to the Milwaukee Public Museum to see, um, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be missed. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. And every item in DeLinz is up for sale. The gallery open every day except Sunday.